Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about a little smart switch called Sun Off or Sun Off or one of those names. Stay tuned. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Today we're going to do a cool little device I've been at for a long time called Sun Off. This is it. It's just a little Wi-Fi adapter that you can put basically on any plug. Now, I'm not suggesting you go around to your house cutting cords and adding these devices, but if you have simple things like lamps or something that you're not really overly worried about, you know, cutting into and adding to it, you could do this. So what I'm planning on today is unboxing this really quick, show you that, go onto the workbench, show you how to wire it up, take a look at the app, and see what we think of these things. Now, these things, believe it or not, they say $5. Really, on Amazon or anywhere else, they're about eight bucks. So let's open it up and take a look at it. So what do we get in the box? So when you open the box, you get this nice little manual that tells you how to wire it, tell you about the app, you get screws to screw it back in and you get this unit and the screws are actually for this this is the where the plate comes off and those are the connectors it comes off on both sides and there's your connectors you got a little reset button here which is pretty cool it tells you neutral and load so there's your neutral and load right on there so you would do the neutral neutral load load and then you have the Wi-Fi adapter in here that'll turn it on and off and you can actually turn it on and off with this adapter too and that's also how you sync it to your phone so you're probably wondering why did I buy these what could you use these for I'm still finding solutions I've seen on YouTube people trying to fit these into electrical boxes you know switches or plugs <sighs> this plastic thing won't fit in there people have been taking the board that's in there and wiring it up and then electrical taping it and throwing the wall I wouldn't recommend that that just seems to me like a recipe for disaster so you know do that shit at your own risk in North Carolina and out in the country pretty much and we have a well you know during winter time you need to put a light on in your well house so that way it won't freeze the pipes and it sounds ridiculous but it actually really does work and I'm originally from New York and when I came down here and heard that a little light bulb's gonna you know make a difference but it does we got black widows down here man and I don't like opening up that well door and dealing with the spider web, dealing with the black widows possibly biting me just to turn on my damn light. So I'm gonna use this thing as an in-between and then the only time I have to open it up is just to change the light bulb, which still really sucks, but I did make that a little easier. So I wanna use this as possibly a Wi-Fi switch for that light bulb that I can't really get to, which, you know, I'll cut the cord and I'm, I'm gonna do that and I'll show you how that works in a minute. So here we are on the workbench. I got my sewn off. It's a regular plug that I got it connected to it. This is what I had laying around. As you can see, you got the neutral wire, which is the white, and check your stuff before you figure out which one the neutral is. We got the load wire, which is black. I don't know if you could see that right in here, right in here, but these are your clamps. You just tighten them down right in there, and that tightens up the wire for your neutral and your load. Once you put those in, you just take this cover, with the screws and you put it right on like so all right and now that's nice and tight if you look really close there's little teeth right there and that's what holds the plate there's teeth on this side too that's what holds the wires down so we'll put this one on so you got the load going to load the neutral going to neutral and then you got the teeth holding in the wires so as you can see nice and tight. So now I got it connected to power. You can turn it on and off using this button. You could also use Alexa, turn on test light. Okay. Alexa, turn off test light. Okay. And you just put in this on off a skill. Actually, I think it's the E we link skill. You put that skill into your echo and then once you do that, it'll work with that. And everything's like nicely connected. You don't really have to worry about it too much. It is not water resistant, guys, but that's basically how you'd wire up a sawn off light switch. So, it works pretty good. On top of that, we have the app, and I'm going to show you that real quick. It's off right now. It says it's off. And then that's it's on. That's it, basically it for the app as far as that goes, but I'm going to give you a quick tour of the app right now. All right, so here we are in the app. All it is is the EWE Link app. We're going to launch that. And there's your test light. That's basically, you turn it on, 
you turn it off, you probably hear it. And then you can do scenes. I haven't really played with the scenes because I do everything through my Echo. As you can see, it's a very basic app. Setting up was probably, it, it, it wasn't hard. It was just something that you have to go through and make sure you connect to the Wi-Fi of the device first. And that's that's the way they all are as far as I'm concerned. You know, everyone I've used, you had to connect to the Wi-Fi of the device first, then set it up, put your router information in, and then you go into this. But really simple. Doesn't even make a noise. It does vibrate the phone for some reason. But that's basically the app. Um, like I said, these go for around... You can get them for five, but on on essence, probably about 750. That's what I paid for each of mine. Not a bad little device. I'm still trying to find uses for it. You can also take advantage of HomeKit. And if you remember, I did a video, I'll put it up here, of HomeKit. We'll see how they do in that aspect. I'd like to try and see if I can convert them over, but I heard you have to do some stuff on the inside here and I don't really want to mess with it that much because I don't have that many. It's not a bad little device if you want to put it up in the ceiling for lights. You know, if you had room in the box to do it, I would say that's a really good use for them. If you think they're going to fit an electrical box, not going to happen. Maybe yeah, even at an angle. This is not going to fit in the standard electrical box. You could take it out of this, but I, I, I don't know if that's a safe thing to do. That's just my opinion on it, but just to show you, it doesn't work. My take on it, it's been working really well with Alexa. I love that. I've, I've had this for over three weeks, and I've been playing with it. I just called a test light, and I've just been playing with it on and off. She's been responding really well. A smart app works great. I used it from work. I have a video camera in here. If you don't remember, I put in my YE home camera which you can see that video here if you want to see it and I can view it from work and see how it's working so I think I'm like I said I'm think I'm gonna use this for my well house turn that light on and off you know heat for the winter it's not a bad little device I mean for the price point I, I just wish it fit an electrical box so I'm gonna deduct one star for that because it should fit an electrical box I don't know why they didn't shrink this down small enough to fit an electrical box so I'm gonna give it a four out of five guys I think it's a really cool device I think the app is a little clunky but you don't need I don't know about you guys, I just want voice control and I want to be able to connect to it to my Wi-Fi network and make it easy. I was also thinking about putting this on my attic fan since the thermostat died. So, you know, little things that you can't get to would be really good. But the thing that scares me about that is being able to hit that button. Am I going to still have to crawl into my well or up in my attic to reset this bad boy? I'll see. I'm going to go through a season and I think I'm going to revisit this and see what I think after a like a year of use, I'll probably revisit it. So if you're watching this at a later time, you're thinking about these switches, look for my year video. But we'll see. Like I said, a four to five, I definitely give it that. It, it, the connectivity's good, the Wi-Fi's good, everything's been good on it so far. And I got two of these for 14 bucks, something like that. So I paid about 750 a pop for them, free shipping through Amazon. That's it for this episode, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And remember, you can do anything, and I mean anything. If you put your mind to it. Later, guys! This isn't a Marvel movie, guys. There's no secret ending, no strategy or something. Just hit like and subscribe and maybe click on one of the videos above. So let's